Hello again, this is Jonathan, lead JavaScript developer at Scribble Maps. So in the previous video I talked about how to modify the UI of the Scribble Maps editor. In this video I'm going to talk about how you can use listeners to figure out when an overlay has been added to the map and then get its coordinates. This is a pretty common function if you need to do geospatial queries. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add an event listener to the Scribble Map object to listen for when an overlay is added, and that can be accomplished like so. So this function will fire every time an overlay gets added to the map. The overlay is contained in the data parameter of the event object. It should be noted that an overlay is not considered added until a user finishes editing it. Now if we want to get the overlay coordinates, all we need to do is this. The get coordinates function returns an array of latitude longitude points. So if I run this code we can see it in action. Now let's pretend we are going to submit these coordinates to a server for processing. First what I'm going to do is clear the listener so we don't have the function double calling every time we run this code. The Scribble Maps API comes with some built-in UI components, including a loader. So let's pretend we are going to send some data to the server and show the loader. Now that we're showing the loader, let's put in some fake code to pretend like we're loading data. So let's try this out. So the overlay is added, the loader is shown, and then removed. Lastly, what we are going to do is change the color of the overlay while it is loading, and then remove it when our data is loaded. Set it to blue. Finally, what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove the overlay once our data has been loaded. And there you have it. So now you know how you can use the Polygon tool to send coordinates to a server uh, to do a geospatial query and then even remove the overlay after it's been added to the map. Check out our other videos to see what else you can do with the Scribble Maps API.